Welcome to the Nav Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Today I wanted to go over uh, deferral templates or deferrals. There is a new feature in NAV or quite recent uh, that allows you to do deferrals uh, right off the bat on purchase invoices. Those are similar to sort of accruals, um, but they, uh, they're more related to this depreciation than accruing. Um, so I'm going to just go and jump in and show you how that works. The, the issue that we have is that we get a, an invoice from a software company uh, for service for the entire year. And uh, we prepay that. But what I want to do is actually uh, book that and have it automatically depreciated over 12 months. So in order to do that, I go here into something called deferral templates. And I create a new one, call it consulting. And the deferral account that I'm going to use for this is going to be prepaid um, prepaid services. So I have that here. Prepaid software contracts. I'm deferring 100%. Uh, number of periods are going to be 12. And those are going to be months. And that's it. So I also want to um, now receive the invoice from the company. So I go into the purchase invoices. And here I create a new invoice to the consulting company. That is the Mundersant Corporation. And uh, We'll just do uh, GL. And here, I actually want to pick the consulting services. So that's a cost account, 60,000. And quantity is this one, you're in the measure each, $25,000. Uh, and over here, we see something called deferral code. And if I pick the deferral code as consulting, uh, then it should uh, defer the expenses. So let's see how that works. I put in some random number here for the invoice, just for testing. And notice the amount is, I think, in Canadian dollars, so it might not be exactly $25,000 booked. We'll see how that goes. So I post it. And I go into post the documents into the Mundersand right here, and I hit navigate. Uh, so what I just did now, even though I went quickly, I went into the post the document, the purchase invoice, and I hit navigate to see all the transactions that got created during the posting of uh, this invoice. And I see four GL entries. So I click on that to take a look at what is happening. And we see that we get uh, 20,661, that's the 25,000 uh, Canadian dollars converted into uh, US, a little show of uh, currencies in NAV. Um, but anyways, 22,400 is the vendors. So that's the liability account, which is gonna be for the entire invoice. And then the 2297 is completely offset um, and is an asset account. Now, I did not specify that, as you can see over here. I specified the 64200, but it threw it onto prepaid software contracts because of the deferral template. And at the same time, for that month, it is deferring or expensing out uh, 1 12th of this number which is 1320 and 4 cents. So you see that you have one depreciation. Now you might wonder, hmm, is it going to automatically depreciate every single month after that until it's done? And how is that going to happen? Because we don't really have any 
um, service in place that automatically does this no it's not that complicated what it does it actually posts everything through and the reason why we're not seeing that in this number here is because we're filtering on the document number and the date now if we take away the date and look at all dates and hit find now we get 28 entries and now look at these 28 you can see that it's perfectly uh, dividing it out actually the 1320 is because we're on the 8th uh, I'm sorry yeah the 8th and so it breaks that up into how many days are left of that month then it looks at full months and then it finishes out in the end 401 so it does it nicely uh, and all of the entries are already booked they are in there uh, and on your GL just on different dates so remember to take away the date filter in order to see uh, all of the entries and that's pretty much it for the deferral schedule um, you can use it on other things like items and resources uh, you can put them as default um, but that should be fairly easy to figure out once you get into it thanks for taking the time to watch this video as always we welcome any questions or suggestions um, so leave comments or of course if you can subscribe that would be awesome uh, we are trying to build our fan base over here at Anacta and uh, if you want to look for further information, please go to anecta.com.